I'm CJ Selner. Let us be the last ones to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. This is Coaches Weekly. I'm here with Coach Rusty Rogers of the women's basketball team. They won their opening conference game this week over Alverno 84-78. Coach, talk about the game. It was an exciting one. Yeah, it, it was an up and down game. Uh, a lot of peaks and valleys. Unfortunately, we had a lot of valleys. Still early in the year. Um, I, I'm really proud of the way we persevered. Didn't play our best game, um, hopefully. Uh, we'll improve on that game, but uh, got through when, when it was on a clunch, crutch time there and came through with a win. One player we got to talk about right off the bat, Angelique Young having the first double-double of the year, 21 points, 10 rebounds. The senior coming through when you really needed her to. Yeah, I was, I've been waiting for that uh, breakout game for Angelique. She's a, she's a really talented player. She's uh, shown what she did uh, Saturday. She's shown that in practice in, in the past. Uh, we hadn't seen it in games prior to that. She's been battling injuries for the year and a half that I've been around her, so um, she's healthy now. She really had a big game for us. Some big clutch plays, uh, both offensively and defensive rebounding. She talked about in her interview a little bit about thanking Sarah Smith and MRB for basically getting her ready because she goes every week. She's facing some other six-foot girl, and she's always kind of got that size disadvantage, but yet she's able to get in the scoring column and really get their big rebounds. That's really cool to hear. Yeah, we've got some size this year and uh, it's really helped in the practice setting. So we've got some, you know, three or four six footers now and Angie's only five foot seven and she's playing in there in the post. She was our post player for that game. And uh, she's really getting some good workouts in practice and, and seeing competition that uh, she'll see in games. So it's been very helpful. Now we also got to talk about your bench once again. 39 bench points, a majority of those coming from Lauren Orr with her three-point shooting, and Shayla Kalejo, the freshman, as we said after the game, her coming out party, really, she showed a lot, just like Lauren did. Yeah, Shayla's, uh, Shayla's been doing it in practice, so it was just a matter of time to get her at that comfort level where she can perform like that in a game situation. I think that's going to be the first of many great games for Shayla. And Lauren, you know, we've talked a lot about Lauren, and Lauren and Miranda Rogers, both can light it up and fortunately Lauren had one of those days where she really hit some big shots and key times too so the, the stave off some rallies by Alverno and then a little give us a little cushion as well later in the game so I'm really pleased to see that. Now talk about your team's fight the third quarter you guys got down by six at a couple points where Alverno just kind of clamped down and you guys had a couple untimely turnovers but your team didn't give up you called a timeout at one point and everybody kind of just rallied around it and you guys came back in the fourth quarter and put together probably the best quarter that you have in the two games. We finally saw some offense, uh, offense's potency that we hadn't seen all year long. Um, so that was encouraging. But, you know, we, we don't get down. We, we know that we have the capability of changing a game in a split second, especially with our defensive pressure. And that defensive pressure kicked in at key times in that game Saturday and really made the difference and, and gave us a little bit of a run. We were able to put the ball in the basket and get back into our press. So it was really critical. But, yeah, we're a confident team. I think the best is yet to come from us. And one person, even Morgan Janke, she, had, she didn't play a lot because she went out with that injury. She came back, didn't have a normal day that we expect out of her. But free throw shooting as a team, you guys were 18-25, to 25, and a lot of those coming down the stretch to really ice the game when you guys needed to. Yeah, when Morgan went down with an ankle injury, I think my, my heart – skipped a beat so uh and i'm too old for that so th it's difficult but to see her back on the floor there at the end we talked to morgan at halftime she had only taken two shots in the first half so we she needed to be more aggressive after she came back from that injury i, I saw a great aggressiveness in her collecting a lot of fouls getting to the foul line where she really um, knocked them down which is what she did all last year just creates a lot of problems for the defense and that was good to see from morgan and we have a special award actually this week if anybody didn't see, I was on Twitter, Courtney Lofink by Hero Sports News ranked the number three point guard in all of Division Three basketball. She got in the, she just barely got in the scoring column this week, but her eight assists shows why she is really the floor general for the Cougars. Yeah, it just brings a smile on my face. Uh, it's really, really cool to be recognized um, from where we've come from in the last uh, decade or so, and to have one of our players recognizes one of the top performers in her position is really, really good for our program. And nobody deserves it more than Courtney. Courtney is the engine that runs our team. You know, like you said, she didn't score much, but she was a difference maker in the game, 
handling the pressure, um, keeping the tempo where it was offensively and defensively, and then the eight assists were tremendous. And there were a couple others there that we missed some easy shots that she could have had double figures in, in assists. So Courtney really is one of the keys to our team. She's that indispensable point guard that, like I said, the engine that runs our team, and, and we really need her in that lineup, and it's great that she's recognized. Now the Cougars will be taking on Aurora College in their first away game for the year. Cougars always playing very, very well at home. What do you guys have to do to take down Aurora to go 2-0 and in the conference? We need to have that same mindset that we have at home, and we struggled a little bit with that last year, especially early on in the year. Some of our first trips we struggled with a little bit. So we're going to get there good and early tomorrow um, and get comfortable and then hopefully, uh, hopefully play the way that we can play. It's, uh, it's always more difficult to go on the road. I'm just fortunate that it's not a very big trip. It's, it's relatively close, so hopefully we can maintain our same kind of uh, procedure and, and the way we do things before the game and get out there and play like we can play. Coach, I'd like to thank you for coming in today. Cougars 2-0, and 1-0 and in the conference after a win over Alverno. They will be at Aurora tomorrow evening at 5.15, tipping in the doubleheader. They will be back at Geisman Gymnasium Saturday to take on Edgewood. Hopefully we'll talk to Coach 4-0 next week Monday.